fishing news is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, and Yozori. Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Well, I want to start off uh, this week by saying thanks to everyone who stopped by this past weekend's show had at the uh, Mohegan Sun Casino. Uh, we sent up an absolute load of new Fisherman Magazine subscribers, which is always awesome to have. We handed out some great free gifts to go along with all those subscriptions, and we gave away three more pair of unsinkable polarized sunglasses, as we'll be doing at the end of each and every show in which we have a display. So you can get yourself your own pair of glasses, just like the ones I've got here, any of the other glasses that they have available on their website. Just be sure to swing by any of our booths, fill out the form. That's uh, shows here in New England, in Long Island, New York, New Jersey. Anywhere you find the Fisherman Magazine this winter, you got a shot to win. All right, if you weren't able to make last week's and you're up here in New England and you want to check us out this weekend, don't fret as we will be back at it this weekend. This time up in my home turf, my old home turf, I should say, up in West Springfield, Massachusetts for the Springfield Sportsman Show. It takes place at the Big E Fairgrounds. This three-day event kicks off this Friday morning. That's February 22nd at noon. Continues through Sunday, February 24th. Closes out about 5 p.m. on Sunday night. Now, personally, I will be manning the booth all day Friday and all day Saturday. So be sure to stop by, say hi, renew your subscription, fill out the form for one of the cool glasses, and you can find us at booth number 402. That's the same spot as we were at last year. It's an awesome new corner location. Really easy to find us. I look forward to seeing everyone up there. Be sure to stop by and say hi. All right, let's see. Moving along onto the fishing side of things this week. Uh, once again, it's it is what it is this winter. It's more the same. Um, we got a little bit of an improvement though on the cod side of things. A couple of the boats were able to get out a few times since we spoke last week. Heard from our friends over at the Francis Fleet. They sailed over the weekend and they said Sunday was absolutely beautiful conditions with much improved action. Now, unfortunately compared to what we've had, that isn't saying a lot until you actually check it out. I mean, it took a few drops, they said, to find the fish, but once they, once they did, it was a solid, steady pick of cod, ling, big ocean cunner, which I gotta tell you are absolutely amazing table fare, even some catch and release black sea bass, as of course this time of the year, the season is closed on those sea bass. Uh, let's see, the weather event, unfortunately on Monday, and the one come through midweek here, uh, seems to have kept the boats at the dock for the most part this week, but the weekend's got some potential to be able to sail. So if you wanna give it a go this weekend, if you're unfortunately not gonna be able to come see us uh, up in Springfield, or maybe you check us out on Friday and heading out on a boat on Saturday. Give your favorite headboat a call and see what they've got scheduled. And last but not least, on the freshwater side of things, ice fishing remains pretty good inland. Uh, friends up at the East Hampton Rod and Gun Club up in Western Massachusetts had their annual ice fishing derby at the Oxbow over the weekend. That's on uh, well, cuts, one of the coves coming off the Connecticut River up there, uh, East Hampton, Northampton area, a place I used to ice fish all the time. Never did as good as the guys did this weekend though. They had some solid entries, including an impressive 7.12 pound bass landed by Jason, or excuse me, Jacob Sicard, pardon me. Uh, it took top honors in the largemouth category. That's a mega bass through the ice. Also some really nice other uh, catches entered. Uh, they had pike of 15.66 and 15.44 pounds. I'd have been psyched to have caught either of those fish any of the days that I spent up there. Uh, let's see, pickerel to 3.37 pounds, big perch just shy a pound and a half, bunch of other really good fish. So congrats to all the anglers up there and bodes well for those of you looking to get out and drill some holes uh, inland a bit this weekend. All right, well, there you have it. I am Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend.